In this video, I want to talk about some of the problems that people occasionally have when they start, first start publishing web pages that have photos in them. The first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that wherever you're programming your code, you need to make sure that you have put the images in there. So you can see that I have my Ireland images in my Unit 5 folder. That way, they, when I link to them, I'm only linking by Ireland1.jpg. I don't have an entire path to another folder. It will work just fine. If you just put in the file name and extension, it will assume that it's in the same folder as the web page that you're programming, which is what's happening here. You can program into subfolders if you want to pull, put all of your images into one one folder, but then you'd need to put the name of the folder slash the name of your file.jpg. Let's take a quick look at my file. Now I've done something here that I don't always recommend. I find the images against the white background were sort of a stark contrast, so I put a three pixel border on my image. That works great and it's easy to do. And you can see that I did this here by having my border equal to three. There is one place that I would not do that, um, not without coding cascading style sheets to take care of it. If you put a border on an image and the image is a link, you'll get it, it'll turn bright blue or whatever color the links in your page are. Now with CSS you can control that so it doesn't happen, but you want to make sure that you control it so it doesn't happen or take the borders off when you're um, turning images into links. So make sure when you get started in week five's work that you have your images already saved into the folder where you're working and then you should be in good shape to go ahead and link directly to those images.